Hi, I'm Dave from boyinaband.com and I'm here today in Reason 5 to show you about block mode. Now if you're anything like me, you'll have been annoyed in previous versions of Reason when you've had to copy and paste the same beat over and over again and use a bit of guesswork to kind of find out where the choruses were and where you wanted different sections of the song. Not anymore! Thanks to block mode, all of that has changed and I'll show you why. First of all, as you can see up here, there are song and block mode available. Make sure blocks are enabled down the bottom, otherwise not very much is going to happen. Click block mode and you'll be taken to the first block. Now let's type in the name for it. Let's make a, a kind of crunky pop song. I was inspired by the Neptune song I made earlier in this video series. It's a combination of that and listening to too much Lil Jon and Usher anyway. But yes, start with the verse and we're going to make another block later on for the chorus. So let's do that, block two chorus. So as you can see you can change between the blocks just there on the left hand side. So the verse we're going to start with a very simple beat. Nice and cheesy 808-ness there. Turn the loop on and get recording with a pre-count on the click. Now I only want it to be a two bar loop, so I'm just going to drag the end point for this block after the second bar, and I'll just right click and quantize this. You can actually click Q rec down here, which quantizes during the recording. I'll hit that and that'll just save a bit of time. And let's loop around from the end point. We've got our beat. And if I get rid of the click track now, I'll just add in a little lead synth. Let's bring it and the bass down and the strings as well. So the beat is nice and prominent. Yeah, let's see what we can make. Sweet. And then a simple bass line under that. Simple as that. And we'll just leave the strings out of here so it's something else for the chorus. Very simple verse there. And our chorus is going to be quite similar. So I'll copy the beat and just paste it into this new block. But it's going to be considerably longer. And as you can see, you can copy and paste things just like you could in song mode. But I want it to be four bars long this time, so I'll get rid of a few of those and drag the E. And so we're going to change the root note so there's a bit of a chord progression in this lead synth for the chorus. Let's get that down. Nice little fill there. And bass. And last but not least, those strings. Those cloud busting cellos, if you're interested. Really good strings for hip hop stuff. Just gonna stab it all the way through. Oh, that sounds nice, doesn't it? But yes, here we go. And there we go, we've got the strings and everything's in there, ready to go. If we go back into song mode now, we've got absolutely nothing, but don't fret. Turn on the draw tool, it's the W key for the shortcut, and we get a draw in a few bars of verse followed by a few bars of chorus. Now, block, 
verse and draw it in up the top in this blocks section here. And as you can see down here, it shows you what patterns are being repeated. So you could do this for as long as you want and just make all the patterns appear below for you. And you can, later on if you wish, convert from block clips to song clips and it'll just make them appear so you can edit them more easily. But for now we're just going to keep it in blocks because there's quite a few useful things you can do while it's in this mode. Verse there, oh, and we want the chorus next. We can have another verse afterwards. So if we have a listen, there's our verse, and it should go into our chorus. Sure you can see the usefulness of that. You can simply draw in new sections when you need them. Now another good thing that I was talking about earlier, if you don't change it to a uh, song clips, keep it in block clips, you can draw in song clips over the blocks to get rid of or to alter the sounds that are playing. I'll show you an example. Say I want to drop the beat just before the chorus comes in. Simply draw in a clip on the beat track and here we go. <laughs> The beat is completely gone from that section. How simple is that? Another thing you might want to do is to add in fills. So if we uh, open up a new track, new note lane rather, and get ready to record something, I'll put in a little fill just before it goes into the chorus. <laughs> Combine that with the silence on the other note lane. And if we cut that to size and have a listen. It's a very simple example, but it shows you the kind of workflow you can start to get used to. It really speeds things up. So there you have it. That's the basics of the block mode in Reason 5. Hope you find it useful and check out the rest of my reviews and showcases about Reason 5. Cheers for watching.